Hello Explorers, welcome back. So we have a guest for Magic Minis. Who's our guest? It's Roxas. <laughs> I was waiting for... It's me, Wenix. Wenix. <laughs> yes, so my husband is our guest today. You guys got Wrigley last week. The week prior you got Lennox. And so here he is. Let me adjust this. I want to make sure you guys can see every... That works. It's going to be a little crooked, but at least you can see them all. Bonito. Okay. <laughs> so, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, he's going to roll the dice and chit-chat with us. Go right ahead. Where are you going to roll it at? Wherever. Just wherever. I don't know where you can see them. You're, not, you're really not going to be able to see it. I can pull these down. There we go. Give me a run and then chuck it at. Yeah. <laughs> Fiber. All right. So... How do you feel about living in the RV? Oh, I love it. Being a retired man. Oh, God, it's so nice. <laughs> just keep going, because we got... Just keep rolling, Just huh? keep rolling. We got $50 we're doing here. All right, go. That's one. That's it. Well. You're using a Pokemon die. So it's got Six. some... It's got some characters on it. Three. So how does it feel to be unemployed? <laughs> it's so nice not having to... <laughs> fight people on the daily I had anymore. someone comment on my TikTok and they're like, so he doesn't earn an income now. I'm like, why is that so taboo? I mean, there's plenty of stay-at-home moms. No one bats an eye, but... My feet finder makes plenty of money. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But the second, the second a male stays home, it's like, so he's not earning any money. So he's unemployed. So he's a deadbeat. Like, jeez. I'll take deadbeat. That's fine. <laughs> You know what? That's that sounds like fun. You could just call me your driver. I mean, <laughs> no, I straight up said I was like, um, he's working for me, uh -huh. which is true. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten so many questions about what you're doing now, which like those questions are fine. I get it. People are interested in like what you're doing now that your time is not being consumed with, you know solving everybody else's problems adult problems <laughs> because that's what police officers do as an adult babysitter an adult babysitter a sh you know you your street cleaner for the city um <laughs> but no literally as an officer your job was to solve adult people's problems because they couldn't figure it out themselves mm -hmm. if you could stop rolling fives that'd be great <laughs> well, apparently that wanted all the money i don't know <laughs> but um yeah, so now they're interested in, like, what you're doing with your time. Well, if you're interested in what he's doing with his time, what are you doing with all your time? Content. Content. Yeah, videoing. Yeah. So he edits every single one of my YouTube videos for the Travel Channel. Not the cash stuffing. I do those because he would take way too much time. You guys would be seeing all kinds of stuff You'd in these have videos. You'd an intro and some cut scenes and there'd probably be some wow, bams. <laughs> and if you've ever watched uh, Busy Lizzie's budget, um, her husband Matt edits all of her cash stuffing videos and he puts like, he'll put like funny things up on the screen because a lot of times she doesn't sit with him when he does the editing. So she doesn't even know the comments he puts in her videos, oh, no. that would be my husband. <laughs> but they would probably be inappropriate. Uh. So, meanwhile, I just make sure that I don't have any points where I'm, like, screaming at my kids to be quiet mm -hmm. in there. And then as long as that's not in there, I render the video and upload it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's another one of the jobs. I'm like a cattle herder when you're uh, it's doing true. videos. It's true. Yeah. Running around. Shooting. We're filming this while Wrigley's sleeping because we said it's easy to keep one kid quiet, especially Lennox. She's the easiest one to keep quiet because she's probably just in my bed right now watching a movie. You have no idea she was here. No, no. And when it's just Lennox, she likes to just go lay in our bed with her iPad and watch a movie. But when it's the two of them, they play together, they fight together. <laughs> yeah. They do all of the things. So, by the time they're seeing this, um, actually, yes, this is going live on Wednesday, so make sure you guys have headed over to Bria.Snyder Travel YouTube channel because a new video went live, and make sure you head over to Roxas Roams. They're always linked in the description box, um, because our last our final stop in new mexico is up over on those channels all right so now we need to go through and count this and 
arrange this. I usually start with number one and then just push them up. So number one got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you want to color them too? You can tell the kids color them. <laughs> Mine wouldn't be any better. I don't <laughs> can you grab the highlighters behind you? These ones? Yeah. Oh, lost the cards. That's all right. We'll pick them up. All right. So we got seven going into there. But, um, yeah, so that video is up. We went to the Carlsbad Caverns in Carlsbad, New Mexico, and it was, so far, it was my favorite place we've been. What about you? Where's your favorite place? That was by far one of the I think best. that was everybody's favorite. Yeah, the, the views were fantastic inside of there. I wanted to do it again. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I don't know how much this one brings in. This was a freebie from D Plans and Budgets. I will try to remember to link it in the description box below. Um, I wanted to do it again, like the, the caverns, but they were actually not available any other day that we were going to be there, which, it sa which sucks because I had booked us four nights in Carlsbad so that we could do it more than once because I thought we would want to. Mm -hmm. um, so we ended up just chilling in the air in like at the RV park for three other nights, which was totally fine because we kind of needed that. Um, also, <laughs> I woke up the day after those caverns and I we have three steps inside our RV to get up into our master bedroom. You guys, I can walk upstairs. I still can't walk downstairs. <laughs> without hurting her it's so I bad the steps because my long legs they just step up from bottom to top oh my gosh my calves hurt so bad so this one got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we had two left over so 13 oh so we're finishing this one today yes okay and then we'll have three extras though we'll have to pick another another challenge to replace this one this was a freebie with a purchase from syndicat budgets last oh that one just colored in okay yeah uh one of the kids colored it in okay um last summer so let me make sure there should be 40 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Perfect. And that paper clip is too small. Can you <laughs> grab me? Nope. Underneath those, there should be another thing that has like binder clips. Perfect. I haven't used any of these yet. So this will go into the completed challenges, which I actually have them. The bag of money. Right here. These are all the challenges we've completed in May. I need to put a dollar in there. Because for every completed challenge, I put a dollar in. So then at the end of the year, we'll have an additional savings. Mm. Yeah. I got this from, or this idea from uh, Donna Powered It by Creativity. So now we need to pick another challenge. There should be a stack of challenges down there at the bottom. See that stack of random stuff? Yes. No. Uh, well, that might be it. Let me see. These, um, no, not these. No? To the left, you see that big, yeah, there we go. Okay, those are, should all be challenges that we can, like, choose from. Ooh. So, don't do the scratch-offs, because those go in regulars. These are all mini challenges. So, you can pick one, because mm. I let the kids pick up, too. There's just a bunch of different... Because I only use freebies in this video. Let's go with the grapes because I want a bottle of wine. <laughs> okay. That, that, that's going to rub off on the palate. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to change this one because 132 is definitely not a mini. So how do I want to do this? I guess I could make like each one a quarter. That would work. So for every dollar it gets, we color in four. 
why am I trying to put those in there? That doesn't make sense. All right. So let's do, this was a freebie from Ryan Collette. So you can download those. Ooh, we even have like all these really fun purples because I got those new ones. So we're putting $3 into there. I want a white wine to make them green. Well, we'll do both. How dare you? Which green? I don't know. This one? <laughs> uh, I don't know if those grapes are any good if it's that green. That one? That's yeah, like... you make it purple. It's fine. Mike, these are the closest to green I have. <laughs> I want champagne. Oh. Doing a color in 12. Yeah. $3. Look at me doing math. Look at you doing math. Look, see, I'm not completely useless. No, you do maths for me. <laughs> even though I'm the one that does the math in this house. Math, not even once. Not even once. Oh, gosh. We're halfway. Hmm. Seven. I've already ran out of fingers. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Cool. So now we use this paper clip. So. Are you chewing on the paper clips? What did you do? It was holding a lot of money. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now this time we do it the opposite direction to bend it back. Oh, look at you, smarty pants. I know, I try. All right, so this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you know what? So now we can actually talk about where we broke down. Because I wasn't releasing that information until... Because they hadn't seen White Sand... Or, I mean, uh, yeah. the, the caverns yet. I said 10, right? 1, yes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we put 5 in here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is supposed to be a roll and save. Um, but we make them work for us because this is a minis binder. We're rebels who do what we want. That's right. So this is a freebie from the Dramatic Panda. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. So there's thirty dollars in here. Um, let me see. So yeah, we when we broke down, we were about an hour and a half away from the caverns um, in some unknown town. One, two, three, four. We had two left over. So we're still going to have one left over. Are you chewing on the dollars too? What happened to this one? I don't know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, what? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I guess we have two dollars left over again. Cool. Um listen, the kids helped me with the last two times that we've played. So you just never know. I mean it's always better to find extra money than less money. That's true. That is very true. Oh, you know what it was? I forgot. We changed this one to being three because fives was too much. That's why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm. Three, six, nine. So I need to color one more in. I forgot that I did that. I need to make a, a note on here of that. Okay, I just need to write three, six, mafia. <laughs> three, six, nine. <laughs> if someone doesn't yell out, damn, she fine. Yep. Are they even a millennial? Okay. So now it makes sense. And this one is from Budget for Success, which I think is also Onyx Budget. Um, I'm pretty sure that's one in the same. Okay. So there's... Woo! We I almost glued that one. Come I know. On. We almost just lost the markers. <laughs> you guys know that he had to glue this after it shattered all over the desk in one of my videos. 
I still haven't replaced it. I don't know if I have the super glue anymore. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to up the ISO. There we go. Darker in here? It, it must have. Huh. So 12 going into here. So this one I think is getting completed too. It is. So we're going to need to pick another new one. Well, the kids are going to be jealous that you got to pick two. I'm just out here just closing chapters. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Um, I think that's how many. I made these two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is going to fall. Yes, give me the stack of money. <laughs> All right, go ahead and pick another one. All right, let's see. So this is complete. This will also go in our bag of money. I need to write like the last five in my notebook because I haven't. And I need to add $2 into the envelope. But we have extras now. All of this. Okay, so we broke down in the middle of freaking nowhere. Oh, wait, here's some more you can choose from. I forgot there's like a whole stack. I got yoga bones. Oh, okay. We just finished one of these. This is from Danny at Craft Co. Budgets. I actually have the other one in there. We just finished it a couple times. I think Lennox finished it. Nice. So we'll make these. Let's do it like this. Ooh. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going in here. So we'll color in two of the fours. Uh, let's do orange. This is cute though. This is yeah. a little, you said yoga bones? yoga bones. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. I like it. Can you get me a regular paper clip? I don't have one now. Uh, one of these gold ones? Yeah. Cool. Shine y'all. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go outside and do yoga because it's good for my bones. Um, it's humid as hell out there. Yeah, but there's grass. There's we haven't seen grass a little, in a bit, little of, bit. A little bit of grass. <laughs> it's more weeds than anything, but that's all right. It's fine. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six dollars going into this one. So yeah, we got stuck um, on our way to Carlsbad about an hour and a half out, and. We were literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm so thankful that we went that direction, though, mm -hmm. because if we would have went the way we were supposed to go, we would have been stuck in the middle of the mountains, like probably no service. Yeah, I was looking at the altitude change and all the roads and all the different routes, and one of them within like, what would I say, like 26 minutes, we went up like 4,000 feet. Yeah. Like, that would have been a the, straight uphill climb. And pulling a 40-foot, 13,000-pound um, RV is just not a good idea when you're doing that. So we opted to go, so the way that we could have went, because we were coming from White Sands, which is Alamogordo, slash like the La Las Cruces area, we were going, we had to go north, but we could either go north further and go up through Roswell, New Mexico, we could go straight through, which would have went through the mountains and that was the shortest distance, or we could go south through El Paso. I didn't want to go through El Paso because there really wasn't anything down there that I wanted to do. Going straight through was just not an option because I didn't want to get stuck somewhere. So we were like, yeah, hey, let's go up north. It only added like 30 minutes to the total drive time. And the drive was only, what, three hours to begin with? It, was, it wasn't long. It only added a few more minutes. But the thing that sold it for me is that I saw a lot of RV campgrounds at the top of the That's mountains. That's right. You did because you were like, if we get stuck anywhere, at least there's plenty of campgrounds. Well, it wasn't just that. It was that if there are campgrounds, then the route must be okay for anybody taking it. Oh, RV yeah. I didn't way. even think about that. So we went that way, got stuck, had to call Progressive, and Progressive was like, well, where would you like things towed? And we're like, um, that's a good question. We don't know where we're at. Well, the nearest town to us was Roswell. We were 30 minutes outside of Roswell. So that is, I know you guys have asked me a million times, where'd you get stuck? Where'd you get stuck? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? It was Roswell, New Mexico. Um, we were originally planning on like stopping and checking out the whole area. We were going to rent a car and do all of that. But we opted not to because as I was looking into like the museums and stuff, 
I didn't really want to spend the money on the museums. And a lot of the reviews I was reading is that they really haven't kept up on those museums, that a lot of them were like super run down and just super corny. And they're just running all the businesses into the ground until they stop working. Pretty much. Um, so instead we got all of our laundry done and I'm talking like our bedding, our couch cover, our like everything. We even put the kids in the washing machine. Uh, we should have, yeah. <laughs> Everybody got showers and shaved and hairbrushed. Like we did like deep cleaning of people, clothing, and house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we deep cleaned the RV. We um we got content done, even though we really couldn't post it because we had zero service. Absolutely none. Like oh no, that was the place that the service was their sur- their internet wasn't bad. Was theirs okay? Where did we just come from? No, I'm sorry. Theirs was good. Their service was good. It was uh, the white, the caverns. Oh, yeah. That's where we had yeah. no service whatsoever. Now, we didn't have great service in Roswell, but it was, their internet was actually not bad. Mm-hmm. Um, so we just got a lot of stuff done. We made, we cooked. We, um, we, we just got a lot of stuff done while we were there. And then the day that our truck was done, we... Promised Wrigley, we took him to the UFO McDonald's. We did not do a YouTube video on that. So if you want to see that, it's on TikTok and it's on Instagram. It should be by the time you're seeing this. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. (laughs) I'm a little behind on my Instagram and my TikTok as far as videos go. But it will be up there. So that's that's the only thing we ended up doing in Roswell was the UFO McDonald's. Highly recommend. It was super cool. And go at night because it's not as cool during the day. But yeah... We are now in a whole other state. We are in... Where are we? Texas. <laughs> we are in Texas. And thank God none of my exes are here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. We are going to be in Texas for a while, though. So... But we're going to be all over the state, so you'll have to keep up with us. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't keep up with us. No. Fine. He asked me every day, are, where are we tomorrow? Well, husband... Mm-hmm. Uh, I just drive. You just point in a direction and I just hit the gas pedal. That's it. It's true, though. But at the same time, I don't always know where we're going to be the next day. I have to pull up my schedule yeah, because fine. this this state has been planned um, for months. Yeah, like four months? Several months. Yeah. And then we've had to adjust a few things here and there because of getting stuck in Roswell. I had to... Uh, I only ended up having to change one partnership. So that worked out really well. Yes. Um. And then one of them I had, I was in the process of scheduling, so it didn't affect that one because I just moved it. Mm-hmm. I didn't actually have to reschedule because I hadn't signed the contract yet, but now it's signed. But if I will give you guys a little bit of a heads up. If you own an RV, a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, a class A, class C, I don't care. If you do camping in that sort of manner, you're going to want to keep an eye on my Instagram because there is going to one of my partnerships. Wink, you, wink. Yeah, you're going to want to keep an eye on my Instagram. Um, <laughs> I'm only contracted for Instagram for that. I will, because of the manner of what it is, I will give you guys a heads up. Once I've posted it, I will make sure to let you guys know in the nearest YouTube video to it what it is. Uh, I can't say anything yet because we haven't even gone yet. But you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on my Instagram for that. And my Instagram is the same as my travel YouTube page. It's Bria.Snyder. His travel YouTube page, his TikTok, and his um, travel Instagram are all Roxas Roams. Again, everything is linked in the description box below. So, without further ado, I think we're done here. I think we've spent all of our $50 that we came with. Perfect. Yep, so. I'm going to go get my new shoes. Oh, did those ship? Oh, they should be out today. Ooh, okay. Okay. It's going to be good on my feet finder. Yeah. (laughs) You're so ridiculous. (laughs) If you guys don't know, that's a joke. And it's been such a long-running joke that some people actually believe that I have one. But I don't. I'm kidding. Oh, gosh. Okay. Anyways. I need to eat. I'm hungry. There's... Lennox keeps... I keep wanting to say Nenny... Because that's what we call her. Yeah. But I know that most people wouldn't know what I was talking about. But Nenny keeps telling me, she keeps reminding me that there is a Chick-fil-A here. Oh, yes. <laughs> that actually sounds really good, though. Yeah. Last night I asked her, what do you want to eat? And she said, you know, Mom, um, I saw a Chick-fil-A sign when we were coming in. Mm. And I was like, 
I know, Lennox, I actually looked on Uber Eats and it's closed. We're not used to being outside of Vegas, the fact that things close at reasonable hours, because our Chick-fil-A is open to like, 11. Yeah, late. And this Chick-fil-A, clo- it, it was 7.30 when I looked, and they weren't, they were closed on Uber Eats. It said that the actual location was open until 9, but we couldn't Uber Eats it past whatever time. So... I think we'll probably do that today. And then we got to take Wrigley to McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys, where we're at, their McDonald's has a, has steak bagels on the menu. I'm so excited. I'm so <laughs> excited. We never got them in Vegas. So that is my plan. I'm going to Uber Eats McDonald's breakfast tomorrow because we are actually leaving the RV park tomorrow. Well, the day you guys see this, we'll be leaving the RV park and heading to a hotel partnership overnight and a couple of things we're doing with that hotel and that um franchise and then we'll be back here to do some stuff in this little town that we're in so i think that's it and i will see you guys back here tomorrow but don't forget to go check out our carlsbad caverns youtube videos so until next time bye